Recall that the McLaren series of a function f of x is given by f of 0 plus f dash of 0 over 1 factorial by x plus f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial by x squared plus f triple dash of 0 over 3 factorial by x cubed and so forth. So let's calculate the first four non-trivial terms or non-zero terms of the McLaren series of e to the x. So in this example f of x equals e to the x and by evaluating this function at 0 we have that f of 0 equals e to the 0 or simply 1 and hence we have found our first non-zero coefficient. Our next step is to calculate a derivative so in this case the first derivative f dash of x equals the derivative of e to the x which is simply e to the x. And now by evaluating this derivative at 0, we have that f dash of 0 equals e to the 0, which again equals 1. So as you can see, a very clear pattern is emerging. e to the x evaluated at x to the 0 will always give us 1, while the derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. So hence we can write down that f double dash of x is equal to e to the x, and f double dash of 0 is equal to 1 and f triple dash of x equals e to the x and f triple dash of 0 equals 1 and now we have found our first four non-zero coefficients and as you can see when an obvious pattern emerges we can skip some of the necessary algebra so again the McLaren series of f of x is roughly f of 0 plus f dash of 0 over 1 factorial by x plus f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial by x squared plus f triple dash of 0 over 3 factorial by x cubed. Now f of 0 is 1 f dash of 0 is 1 over 1 factorial by x plus f double dash of 0 so again 1 over 2 factorial by x squared plus f triple dash of 0 so 1 over 3 factorial by x cubed and now we can tidy this up so 1 plus 1 over 1 so simply x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial or we can write this out by explicitly calculating the factorials as 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial so x over 2 plus x cubed over 3 factorial so x cubed over 6. So we've just found out that the McLaren series of e to the x is 1 plus x plus a half x squared plus 1 over 6 x cubed. So is there anything we can say about the McLaren series for e to the 2x? So notice that the McLaren series of e to the x is 1 plus x plus a half x squared plus 1 over 6 x cubed. While the McLaren series for e to the 2x is simply the McLaren series of e to the x with the argument of x replaced with 2x. So the McLaren series of e to the 2x will be 1 plus replacing x with 2x, so plus 2x plus a half, replacing x squared with 2x to be squared, plus 1 over 6, and now replacing x to be cubed by 2x to be cubed, so 2x to be cubed. And now if we tidy up the algebra, we have 1 plus 2x, plus a half by 4x to be squared, plus 1 over 6, by 8x to be cubed or simply 1 plus 2x plus 2x to be squared plus 4 over 3x cubed.